Somebody lift up your worship to the Lord. Release tongues of fire. We've come to Mount Zion, the city of the Lord. Jesus, we worship you in the beauty of your holiness. We worship let our worship rise let our worship rise as a sweet smelling sermon let it rise Jesus we worship you Jesus we worship you we reverence your presence in our midst Let it rise, 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 let it rise. Eka parando se prende mosaya, era ba 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 saya. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among all other gods? Who is like unto thee? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. Era do sakapaya. Worship us, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Shut up, Nanamosa. Don't wait for a song. We bring our ambassador box, Jesus. We break it, we worship. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Shut the door, Mosiah. We lift up holy hands to you. We worship. We lift our voices to you. You deserve it. You deserve the lifting of our hands. You deserve a song from our lips. Jesus, we worship. Jesus, we worship. Shut up the cosini I enter the holies of all. I enter to honor. I enter to Somebody enter to the holies of holy. I enter to the holies. I enter to
You created us to worship, so we were. Lord, let him hear the fruits of your lips tonight. Share, let him hear you. I worship. Yes, 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 yes. You created us to worship, so we worship. Lord, I worship, I worship, I worship you. Shut up, I see a cup on my nose. And I worship, Lord, I worship in the beauty of your holiness. I worship, and I see it. I worship you. Lord, I worship, Lord, I worship, I worship, Jesus, we come to worship you. Stop! 
Amen, amen. Good morning, good morning. God bless, God strengthens you in the name of Jesus. All right, we give God praise. Such an amazing time in God's presence. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Um, um, can you give me some volume? Thank you, Jesus. Let's, let's go ahead this morning. Let's lift our voice and lift our hands and praise the one who lives forever and ever. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's bless him. Let's bless him. Is the Lord strong and mighty? Is the Lord mighty of, mighty in battle? The whole earth is full of the, the train of his glory. There's none to be compared to him. We, we give you praise. 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 We bless your holy name. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before we begin, before we continue, there's somebody here that God will have me help you give an interpretation to your season. Let me explain what you are going through because um, you've been worried and troubled that it looks as though everything went from um, being slightly hopeful to being bad the moment, you know, words of prophecy came in your direction. So let me give you an interpretation. The Israelites were at peace, though slaves. Um, they were slaves, but um, um, there was no need for the Egyptians to multiply their burdens. But the moment their negotiation changed and they began to ask for freedom, the moment God stepped in that the time to set them free had come, um, the reaction from Pharaoh, which was a typology of what the devil does, is that their burden immediately was multiplied. And the essence of that is so that they can be discouraged and they will change their negotiation from requesting for freedom so that they can settle for bondage with peace. Listen to this. The first step out of captivity can be that you will lose your peace. The first step out of captivity can be or can look as though the burdens multiplied much more. Are you seeing that now? So when you begin to make greater demands, it will look as though the battle got stronger. No, 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 no. It is actually because you are coming out and the devil is reacting. I have made both to tell you this morning that nothing is wrong with you. You prayed right. And this is the first step out of that bondage. And many people get, this, get to this point and um, they become discouraged. You see that? And they, they stopped pursuing what they are pursuing. I dare you to stand. And stand without bending what your negotiation is from God. I, I dare continue doing what you're doing. The devil will, will lose the battle. You see that now? There was no need for Exodus 14 if they were not, if they were not living. That the host of Pharaoh were coming behind them and now this is the sea before them. And beside them was a wilderness. Where do we turn? Where do we turn? It is still part of the steps of progress. Are you seeing that now? If you are in bondage, there are things you will never have to worry about. Harvest is more stressful than planting. Yes. You have come to that season. Amen. Amen. And you see, sometimes people are online. I, I see things people say and all that. And I say, people don't understand this. In the game of life, once you play the victim, you become the victim. There are statements you, you, ne you never give the devil the impression that you are weak or you are tired. No, no. You maintain the confessions of your faith. You stand and fight. Are you following what I'm saying here? This is me bringing you the counsel of the Lord. Um, it is possible that somebody is very sick and um, the moment what came, comes in the direction of the person... Um, the devil may want to react that why, why, why do you allow that person to pray over you? The essence is when you are intimidated like that, you throw in the towel. No, I refuse to throw in, throw in the towel. Amen. We're going to do something this morning. We'll get up on our feet boldly. We'll lift our hands to heaven. And we'll thank God for the process he has commenced. We'll thank him for the things that he's doing now. We'll thank him for the things he's yet to do. We'll thank him for the progress we are making. Is our good father, is our good God. And while we are doing that, I want you to deliberately share the link for this broadcast 
and invite someone deliberately now. Deliberately. Deliberately. Share the link and invite someone. Come on, go ahead. Lift your voice and give Jesus praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Reko si grende rogo shekete rogo shende. Oh, rende rogo shente rogo shekete rogo shende. Oh, yes. Oh, kero stiflende rogo shente. Oh, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We honor you. We honor you, Lord. We honor you. You are the Lord strong and mighty. You are the Lord mighty in battle. There is none that can be compared to you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Oh, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise, Jesus. We thank you. You are the one who answers our prayers. You are the father of unending answers. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Reko singre nderogo shente. Renderogo sikle nderogo shente. Oh, we bless your holy name. 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 Come on, pray. Oh, yes. Reke shende rogo shende. Oh, reke shenge de gede 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 gede. Oh, shenge de rogo shende. Rende rogo shente rogo shente. Oh, rende rogo shente rogo shente. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Say that amen loud enough. Amen. Now, if you follow the pattern of our prayer here, you will notice that there is a process connected to it, and that's the cutting of umbilical cord. What that means is we are, we are raising believers who will know God for themselves, even in the place of prayer. Are you seeing that now? That's why I'm showing you how this works. Um, if you are anywhere, take it. Let me, let me share something with you. Because this has a lot to do with the prayers we are praying this morning. Are you with me? This has a, has a lot to do with it. I remember um, a while back, um, I became quite sick. Um, and I, I was having symptoms I could not explain. Um, it was like all the fluid in my body was drained. You see that? Um, I don't want to go further into it. I remember one of those days, I, I called my wife. I looked at myself, I said, no, 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 I can't cope like this. I said, there's a need for us to go to the hospital right away. And that's not a statement you will hear from me. Now, hear this. We were going, all right? She just said, oh, let me just pick something. And it occurred to me. The one who sent me on this journey did not send me to the hospital. That doesn't mean you can't get sick. So I said, let me ask the one who sent me on this journey. So I said, get me a chair. So I sat down outside our house. And I began to talk to God. You sent me on this journey. My PPA, that's my place of primary assignment, is not the hospital. I'm going to the hospital now. Are you aware? The moment, pay attention though, because there are things I will tell you, your life depends on it. The moment I was having that conversation with God, I, I saw with the eyes of my spirit like a very strong angel, bam, descended. I knew, I knew that God had responded. So I called my wife. I said, I'm not going again. She said, you have to go. I said, God has responded. In fact, that's where the statement came from. So I said, the moment I said that, Every symptom was still there, 100%. In fact, worse that night. And I went to bed, and the devil was telling me, you know you're a fool for refusing to go, and you're going to regret it. Long story short, my friend came in that night, we were able to pray together. I woke up the following morning like a new baby. All the siege was over. Everything left. 
immediately. You listen to what I'm saying. The response of God may not come dramatic. The moment you pick the signal in your spirit, hold it like you are holding the rope when a man is falling from a cliff. You must know how to hold that which you have perceived in your spirit. That is faith. Are you following what I'm saying? Somebody is indebted. You are holding people. You got to a point, you prayed, and praises began to flow. You just knew that this thing is done. Let's, listen to what I'm saying. If you don't hold that signal you picked in your spirit, you are going to get into trouble. You say, eh, I, will, I will not rejoice now. So I think you must hold it then. That is what changes the situation. Are you following what I'm saying here? I'm showing you this because, I, I, it, you know, yesterday we were praying, got into a breakthrough where we saw that there was a shift. All right? I, I knew when God said to me, I'm going to pour beauty and glory upon your life. I knew when God said to me, hey, lack is out of your life. I knew, and this is what I'm saying. The moment I see it, I say it. The problem is that you are claiming to be an introvert in the face of your miracle. It doesn't work that way. Once you see it, say it. The reason why you are saying it is because you have not heard it. You say it so that you can hear it. You say it so that the mountain can hear it. The most difficult thing that needs to hear it is you. That is the reason why we confess. And that is the reason why it is again and again and again and again and again. I want to remind you. I want to remind you that something shifted over this house yesterday. And as I came to sit down for this broadcast this morning, it occurred to me again. It is no longer business as usual. You didn't hear what I said. I said it is no longer business as usual. You have been taken away from the midst of mere men and you have been placed amongst mighty men. From this moment, the caliber of your interaction has changed. Amen. It is no longer business as usual. Amen. Something has shifted. Is there somebody... Amen. Listen to what I'm saying. Is there somebody here who knows it? Yes, enough to stand up and say, I knew when this changed in my life. Yes, I know the deal. Are you following what I'm saying here? Oh, Rekosi Paradabane Katish. Oh, yes. God has responded. And I know when my father responds. He has responded. He has responded. He has responded. Oh, yes. God has responded. We give you praise, Jesus. He has responded. I am no longer where I used to be. I have made progress in the spirit. I am no longer where I used to be. It doesn't matter whether you are in a wheelchair, whether you are sick. I am no longer where I used to be. I have made progress. I have made progress in the spirit. Oh, yes. I am no longer where I used to be. I have made progress. I have made progress in the spirit. God has responded. God has responded. I have made progress in the spirit. God has responded. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. God has responded. Oh, same black hero go sente. I have made progress in the spirit. God has responded. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. So, listen to this. Never play victim. Never get to that point where you say, eh, look at this sickness. Eh, can they? Jesus saw that man at the pool of Bethesda who had been there for 38 years. Hey, what that means is that this man has been on his back for 38 years. And Jesus said, pick your bed and go. What? If he should choose to say, 
Can't you say I've not worked for a while? Can't you see? Hey, are you just so mean? Why are you just so cruel? It will never work. Even though it was Jesus who said it. It will never work. There are forms of miracle that will come on your life and it has no respect to your feelings. It has no respect to your insecurities. It has no respect to the feeling of low self-esteem. It drags you out of your comfort zone. That's why I said, adverse is more dangerous than sowing. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, you know, I, I, I gave an interpretation of season when I started. That the first step towards your breakthrough can be trouble. Are you with me? Yes, sir. There are trouble you, the devil does not have business serving you. After all, you don't deserve it because you are, your negotiations are not much. Are you with me? Yes, no, not much. But the moment you begin to demand for certain things, there are certain confrontations you will have. It's just like influence. It is the tree that has fruit people throw stones at. You don't go back and say, well, why are they dragging me? Why are they trying to cause me? Why are they? <laughs> you either go big or go home. Ha. It's not for babies. Be a gentle person, but be rugged on the inside. Are you feeling what I'm saying? <laughs> this life is so mean. No? It is a wicked world. If it's a wicked world, become brutal. It's been a wicked world from the beginning. <laughs> you make a choice and stand by it. Once you begin to do some things differently, the devil will come for you. You will rise as a light to a certain level. You will be discovered. And that means some attack. Are you following what I'm saying here? Tell your neighbor, go big or go home. Don't cry. We don't cry here. We don't cry here. We don't cry here. Go big or go home. Eh? Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. We don't cry here. Say, hey, who, who is going to help me? Who is, who is it? <laughs> All right. Let me tell you. I saw, I mean, I, I, I don't want to say it in a way anybody will understand, so I'm just going to try. God will help me. I saw the, um, a young man was killed, all right? It was a, it caused a problem everywhere. People were shouting, hey, this is it. whether he was killed or he died naturally. Somebody gave an analysis. He said, see, he said, I saw this person making video online, saying they're after my life, they're after. He said, stop raising weak men. That analysis actually touched me. Because you don't give those who are pursuing you the impression that you are running. We have breastplate of righteousness. We have element of salvation. We have the shoe of the gospel. <laughs> we have the belt of truth. <laughs> Are you with me? But there's nothing covering the back. There's no protection for deserters. As powerful, even though it is the whole armor of God, there's nothing covering the back. You don't turn your back in this battle. So when we are now, somebody come for meetings now, and then you see that God has responded, things have changed. Then you are now surprised that that's when your problem now starts. When should it start? Nobody has your time as long as you are in darkness, you are in captivity, things are bad. The moment there's a shift. You know, this thing is first and foremost a knowing in the spirit before it becomes evidential. Are you with me? Let me tell you something. We announced that we are working on the project as touching church, building and all that. Then the A180 million, I think we have spent more. Uh, we have spent more. We have spent more. And we're going to do far more. Somebody went to make a video. I said, why would he talk about this project like this? This minister of God is a very useless man. He has entitlement mentality. I laugh. No, be you, they talk him. Now, the devil, where they vex, they speak to you. I know you are not this bad. And you, are, you can't be this daft. It's not you. It's not you. It's the devil. I'm not going to back and say, well, I'm just trying to work for God. Why are they trying to criticize me? Why should they not criticize me? Do you know what I'm doing? You know how many Muslims have become Christians? You know how many atheists are back to church? You know how many people have not gone to church for over a decade are back to church? People like me, you have to be confronted. And I know it. And I don't pity myself. I say, don't you say, yeah, yeah. what do you mean? Bring it on. You have to be strong! 
Things have shifted, sir. Okay? In the wilderness, there's manna. It falls from heaven. In the promised land, do promised land. Flowing with milk and honey, you will have to farm. <laughs> In the wilderness, you wake up and eat every morning. In the promised land, you cook your food. Harvest is more stressful. And harvest is more risky. Are you following what I'm saying here? Are you following what I'm saying here? Get up on your feet, everyone, like men of war. Now, there's a prayer you're going to pray. I, I, see, I am leading you on a journey with the consciousness of the fact that this is no longer business as usual. Now you begin, I see what to do now. I, I see. It. Now, now, look at it. I want to show you Daniel 10, but let me show you Jeremiah 1 first. Turn your Bibles, Jeremiah chapter number 1. All right, let me show you something. Jeremiah 1, let's go to verse 11. And I want that scripture projected. Jeremiah 1, 11. Some of us used to be very timid people. I couldn't talk to anybody. I would be hiding inside my room. Growing up as a child, I was like, but when battle push you to the wall, you either die there or you become a lion. Are you with me? Uh -huh. 1, 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see the branch of an almond tree. If you look at that in the Amplified, said, look at it, verse, that's um, verse 11 now. Look at it, it said, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch or shoot of an almond tree, the emblem of alertness and activity, blossoming in late winter. That is, you must see when the blossoming starts. The areas of your life where there's been no activity, you must begin to see it. And what was the response of God? You have seen well. For I will watch over my words to what? Perform it. I will watch over my words to what? Because you have what? Seen well. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, That's the same thing you are interpreting. Meaning that as God has done, you hold it all. Father, I see it. And you begin to mention what happens is that that is when you begin to get flooded with revelation knowledge. You will, I, listen to what I'm saying. You know, I made an announcement, and that, if you, in fact, if you follow this ministry, that's one of the things that will shock you. Because once we announce this, you feel like, ah, do you know how much millions it costs per month to have a TV station? Yes. Yes. I know how much millions it costs. What I know... Somebody asked me, when, when, when are you really ready for a project? I said, when I have the faith for it. Not when I have the money for it. The moment I have the faith for it, I start. It has never failed. We don't owe people. We've never gone to beg and say, please come on. No, no. It has Once there's a faith for it, it starts. That's when the door is open. Are you feeling what I'm saying? Now what is happening is that you are being flooded with light and revelation knowledge. As touching this new face. That is opening up for you. All right? Father, I see it. I see it. And I see also that which I must do. I Lift your voice loud and clear and pray. Oh, yes. I see it. I see it. Oh, yes, I see it. And I see that which I must do. You, now, you are not praying it well. Oh. Some of you assume that this is a prayer you pray in silence. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. Let me give you an adage. And this adage is going to help at least half of the people connected online. It's a story I want to share with you. While I was in primary school, I attended a missions primary school and a missions secondary school. And until one point, it was not missions. 
There was a school directly opposite my mission primary school. There was a government school in Kano. That school, they wear white and white. Okay? We were what we were. They were primary school students like us. And also, when I got to secondary school, they also have their own secondary school section. And they also still wear white and white. They fight. They kill themselves. They have philosophies that were very strange compared to the ones we know. We never left our own school to go and learn those wicked philosophies. We stayed connected to our own school. We are all in different schools in life. You pay attention to your own class. It is possible to stumble on a message online, and that message is a direct attack on your miracle. Don't leave your school. So go ahead. Copy where they are killing themselves. I'm saying this because the media has made it so that if care is not taken, it will be difficult for believers to get their miracles in the last day because there are too many voices. Somebody, people spoke about, I'm still going to do, I'm still going to do a teaching hmm? titled The Word of Faith Movement. It's a teaching. I want to, or where I'm going to teach about movement in the body of Christ. Church history now. Movement in the body of Christ. Because, you see, whenever a movement starts, everybody tries to project what they are doing as the absolute. But what God is doing is a corroboration of many parts. Holiness movement does not destabilize word of faith. And word of faith does not destabilize the message of grace. It is a corroborative effort. Don't let anybody deceive you. In this Christian faith, you believe, all right? You say it, then you see it. That was what the woman with the issue of blood did. She said to herself, if I can touch the hem of his garment, all right? She went ahead to say it, and then she did it, and she got the miracle. Get up on your feet, everywhere. Because, you know, a real teacher, let me tell you, teaching in the last days, is not just passing information. It is warfare. It is actually us first destroying strongholds to be able to build. Are you following what I'm saying here? Very important. Yeah. Lift your voice loud and clear below because I know as I'm praying, there are people who have seen things that is hindering their ability to push through and pray. If your life depends on it, pray, sir. I see what God is doing now. I'm aware. I receive more light. I receive more light to be able to break into the fullness. I receive more light in the name of Jesus. I break into the fullness. Oh. I receive more light. I receive more light. The sons of Issachar understood times and seasons. They knew what they must do. And the Bible said their brethren were at their command. Light. 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 Light! Let there be light. It is dangerous for your season to shift and you are not aware. I receive light. Light, 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 light. In the name of Jesus. I receive more light. Woo! Shende rogo, shende rogo. I receive light. I receive light. I receive light. I receive light and illumination. I know what I must do. I know what I must do. I know what I must do. In the name of Jesus. I know what I must do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Look up. Oh. Look up. How do I help you see this? 
Let me tell you something. The greatest hindrance to the miracle of many people is their mind. How do I help you? Let me tell you. If you see a pastor of 2,000 and a pastor of 20, the difference is not maybe the anointing or that. The difference is the mindset. It could be where the ministry is at the moment, but also it's powered by a mindset. I want to help you. When you see that this is what God is doing, a mighty harvest is coming. It means you begin to spend more to create bands to store the harvest. If your mind is small, you will build a small band. And you will not get more than what you can. God, there's no room for wastage. Are you with me? Uh, you have, you've not gotten it. You've not gotten it. There are seasons that you just know that certain things have tipped. You begin to make certain decisions, even in your organization, in your company. It is not, this is an executive decision. Anybody who doesn't use the mind of an executive cannot understand, and we call it wastage. There are executive decisions. For instance, let me leave it. It costs millions of naira to prepare what we are, where we are broadcasting from. Millions. Right, Apostle, you've always had good frame. There are decisions that once you make, and God now say, okay, because your mind has grown to do this, it is time to have the ears of nations. He didn't say, I pour new anointing. Now that your mind can conceive it and receive it, it is now time to step in. Go and create a room for the harvest first. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, Somebody is running a business, you keep making small decisions, poor decisions. Go and fix solar so that there can be uninterrupted power. Go and do this so that there can be uninterrupted this. Go and develop yourself like one which is already doing that bigger level. Go and you are not doing it. You keep wailing and say, I'm not shifting level. You can't shift level that way. Make room first. Let me tell you. Somebody said this new broadcast is even excellent. We are not even using the main place. Let me tell you something. I want to tell you something. Huh? How do I put this on you? The moment your season shifts and you keep thinking like yesterday, you will not see the tangibility. One time I did an experiment in church and I asked everybody, if you came to this church via one-on-one -on -one street evangelism, please stand up. Nobody. Not because we have not been doing publicity. Not because we have not been evangelizing. If you came to this church because you heard the message of a man called Femi Lazarus and you went to search for where the church is and I must get there, stand up. Almost everybody stood up. Where do you invest in? God did not make man to start thinking about what to do on the earth. He fixed the earth first. When you are fixing it, because there's an adverse coming, it will look like wastage, but it is vision. What I'm saying, I'm helping organizations even interpret what you must do. Let me tell you something. We were still less than 70 when we moved to a hall that can take a thousand. The hall got filled in weeks. We were still in that same hall, not where we are now. When I said it's time to build. I we have not said that then. I don't know what we'll be thinking now. I, strategic steps. I don't know how to take this further. Are you following what I'm saying? Is, is somebody picking any level of light? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because when you come to a place of prayer, you must leave knowing what to do. Are you picking any level of light? Yes, sir. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Take this strategic step. I, I'm, I'm telling you, we're still... That is the way we... When we were coming to Abuja, I told one of my boys, my mentee, I said, follow me. 
I said, I'm coming to Abuja. I said, follow me, because God is about to show you how people grow. I, I dare to say that. I said, follow me. God is about so that you can learn, because in no time now, you just see that we are not at this place again. So be close, so you can see with your eyes. Are you following what I'm saying? You, you can't talk like that if you have not seen something. If you hear our messages, you will hear that God told him that a time is coming that my, vision, my, my wisdom will be needed to navigate tough times in the body of Christ. Then will I cause your voice to be heard. That all those who hear you will not lack light and... Uh, you can't speak like that if you have not seen something. Even if you speak, you now put it outside. There are steps if you don't take, you will never change your level. When Jesus told that man at the pool of Bethesda, pick your bed and go, though the king of kings was saying it, the guy who still remained there, he was playing victim. And say, I have not stood up in years. He will never stand up. I dare to tell somebody who has been stagnant for a while, pick your bed and make progress. Make progress. Are you following what I'm saying? This, what I'm showing you this morning is secret. Oh. There are not even things you want to put out. It's big secrets. We give you praise, Jesus. Somebody is, are you, have you learned something? Somebody is leaving this place knowing what to do next. Somebody is leaving this place knowing what to do next. Somebody is leaving this place. Let me tell you something. When you see the mindset of people who understand faith, they are like people who smoke weed. Um, when one of my friends, while we were in school, he used to, he was the pastor of the hostel. So some boys felt his own was too much. So they made, I thought it was beans or jollof rice. So they put weed inside. And when he saw it, he thought it was just Korean time, you know. He thought it was Korean. So they put weed inside. That's how, this is my friend, ate the food. He first started with, I'm a success! That, that's, you know, that, that's where he started from. Then he, he, he graduated to Mary, a minimum affair. That Mary, an amigo, Mary. Meanwhile, the Igbo dug out what has always been on his mind. He became bold and, and was moving about and was doing strange stuff in the hostel. Because he, he, he took something that took to make him high. Are you following what I'm saying now? He began to manifest everything that was on the inside. And that's the same way when you catch a glimpse of revelation, you become high. People can't understand the way you are thinking anymore because you have left the planes on the earth. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, you must see from a higher edifice. So in, in Jude verse 20, say, beloved, build up yourself with the most holy faith, pray in the Holy Ghost. Look at what the Bible says in the Amplified. It says, we rise. Like what? Edifice. We charge in tongues. You come back. What you are saying does not make you mad sense. That's how we do life. If not, you'll be grounded. If you do everything at your level, you are not doing well. I, I like to enter trouble and start something that only God can help me finish. Uh, that proves many times over that he called me. Mm. Let me start. We have, God, we have reached here now. Are you following what I'm saying? I think I saw a, a joke one time that some Afar went to go and name, I've mentioned their name now, went to go and name baby, the Ketu that they used to, the T Ketu. It was not for them, it was supposed to be for some boys who were living in the house. It was their fathers that poor, the Ketu. The T is like Ketu. <laughs> That's why one of Afar asked her, I said, Afar, damn you. Class, I say, no. I'm not on I'm not on the <laughs> if you didn't hear that, you just just speak, <laughs> just speak in tongues. You know what I <laughs> just, 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 just leave that. Right? <laughs> I even say, I pass. I do all the kind of stuff. God have mercy. <laughs> oh God! If you didn't hear that, I thank God that you didn't hear that. Okay, <laughs> just, just leave that. Amen. I just said it many years ago. 
my mind actually is naturally funny. Okay? People just think maybe I'm not my mind. I don't know how God did it. Ah, amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do you see it? Can you see it? Yes, sir. Do you see what God is doing in this season? Yes. Sir. yes. Praise God. Lift your hands. Get up on your feet, everyone. Get up on your feet, everyone. The hand of God is strong upon your life. Amen. You will not miss God. Amen. You won't fail God. Amen. We will rejoice together when we begin to see the import of what God is doing in this season. Amen. Very soon you begin to sit in the midst of the kind of people you have not sat in before. Amen. You are beginning, to, listen to what I'm saying. You are going to begin to interact with the kind of people you have not interacted with before. Because there is a shift in your season. There's a shift in your season. There's a shift in your season. The gate of nations that has not opened for you before is opened for you now. In the name of Jesus. The hand of God is strong upon you. Now, I'm going to pray for you and also pray for those who are sick. And before I do that, if you're under the sound of my voice and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, this is the best time to give your life to Jesus. Don't postpone your salvation. I've said it again and again. Jesus is the message. But tomorrow may be too late. It's not a threat. Jesus is the message. All right? And I'm begging you now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you want to give your life to Jesus, place your right hand on your chest and say these words after me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you came to this world to die for my sins. I also believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose on the third day for my justification. Today, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. And I accept this gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have said that, you have said the most profound statement anybody can say in a lifetime. And you have crossed from death to life. I want to beg you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's a contact on the screen. Send us a message there. Send us a message that I just gave my life to Christ. We'll be very, very glad all right, to hear from you and also help you get discipled. We'll be extremely glad. Please send us a message um, on that contact. As you step out, now listen to this. God only finance what you have captured. If you have not conceived it yet, don't blame God that the resources was not, was not released. In this kingdom, it is projects that, that, that get financed. Is that okay now? It is projects that get financed. I will tell you something. There is no project I have announced this year that God has not stepped out to do for us. So if you say that now, in fact, we, we are on DSTV already. We're on Pop Central, free of charge. We're a, on a TV station, indigenous TV station in Kenya, free of charge. We're in two more countries, free of charge. They did not come just like that. We were saying it. That's how you build it. Don't blame God for not responding to what you didn't say. As we have announced, we are starting on TV. It just takes one person. God just raised one person. And say, how much will it cost for a year? Say, hey, running cost for a year, um, plus minus, um, plus minus $100,000. Consider it done. Is there anything to have for God to do? There are people who have this thing. God just say, go and look for where my work is going. Go and bless it. I'm saying, we, we can just get a call. Uh, Apostle, we saw your project about the TVDC. How much were a year? $100,000. Running cost. Minus gadget, minus studio. Just, just, just air. So consider it done. $100,000. Go and, go and, go and consider it done. If you didn't have the audacity to step out and do it, the resources won't come. I'm trying to show you this thing, though. But I'm not talking too much.
I was pastoring students. People, students, don't have anything. When we started the Badon Project, that's not students. One person, just one, one, one person said, hey, this administrative building, I take everything, every care. Renew, uh, renovation, everything, fixing the guy, everything. One person. Whatever you are not bold to do, don't expect supply in that direction. It is audacity first. Faith first. Are you following what I'm saying? Are you following what I'm saying? I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare from today, receive the spirit of boldness. Amen. Audacity to step into the fullness of what God has for you. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. You will never be small. Amen. You will see the bigger picture. Amen. You will do everything right. Amen. Grace is released upon you. Amen. The hand of God comes upon you. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. From today, take meaningful steps. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, I'd like to encourage you, like this broadcast on YouTube. We have almost 4,000 people on YouTube. All right? But 1,000 people have liked. Like it. Like it. So many people can be blessed by it. Then subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you should subscribe. If you didn't follow yesterday Bible study to be premiered today on YouTube, hey, you need to. That's a very serious one for the body of Christ. Isaac and Ishmael. How you can bow with people bear two extremes. You need to go and follow it. Is that okay now? After this, they put link for you to give. People have been asking for Flutter Wave account to give from Kenya, from different countries. All right, we're going to get to that. But in the meantime, those are the account details. If you have any challenge, there's a number on the screen. You want to sow to the ministry, go ahead and make your seed and we'll be glad to receive from you. You don't know how to go about it, call the number, we'll be glad to hear from you. God bless you so much. Have an amazing day ahead. You are blessed already. God bless you. Bye-bye. Just take a moment, take a moment and make melodies unto the Lord. Make melodies unto the Lord. Make melodies. Shut up, Isaac!